Hi, everyone. Welcome to our presentation for GeForce, GPU-friendly or previous and rapid neural network inference. I'm Lu Xian from the Department of Information Engineering, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Nowadays, neural networks are very common for inference. However, it may involve sensitive data, such as medical image analysis. The client will be reluctant to hand over its data to the service provider. A nice solution is to let the server send its model to all clients, yet it harms the server's interest. Because the model itself is a digital asset, and sensitive training data may be extractable from the model. That's why we need our previous neural network inference. The clients can learn the query itself, but not the model, while the server can learn nothing about the query. Our framework, GeForce, aims to support oblivious, rapid, and accurate neural network inference. GeForce can attain approximately 3% accuracy in just 0.4 seconds over C100, an image dataset consisting of 100 classes. This is the first purely crypto solutions achieving such good accuracy and performance. Delphi, the pipes, can only attain about 68% accuracy in 14 seconds. Looking ahead. Our core contribution in cryptography is to make crypto operations GPU-friendly, especially those non-linear ones. We also bring in advance in machine learning to tackle the notorious issue of accuracy versus bitwidth. A common paradigm in our previous inference is to treat linear layers and non-linear layers differently. Non-linear layers consisting of activation function like ReLU or pooling function like MaxPool, while linear layers usually are convolution or matrix multiplication. Secure online and offline shared computation, shared the SOS is useful for linear operations. The key idea is that when computing a linear function, say f of x, we can separate it to fx minus r and fr. We first recompute fr using slow homomorphic encryption, or xg, where r is a random value. In the online phase, we recompute fx minus r in GPU, which is much faster than CPU in patch processing. To be more specific, in the offline phase, the client first randomly draws RC and sends it after performing additive XG or AXG. The server applies the linear F on the server test, masks the results with a random value RS, and sends back the results. In the online phase, we assume the server and the client have the additive sugar shares of the input X and hope to get the additive sugar shares of the results F of X. The client sends its input share XC minus RC to the server. The server S is input share XS to the receiver values to reconstruct X minus RC and applies the linear functions F on it using GPU. Finally, E balances the results with RS to get the resulting additive sugar share. On the other hand, the client's offline share serves as the client's resulting sugar share. In SOS, neither the input nor the output is connected to any party. Devil adopt SOS for linear layers which can be considered as computing Y as a result of a linear operation over the input X and the weight W. It can then be treated as a linear function FW over the input X, and SOS is applied to FW. Our question is, can we also apply SOS for nonlinear layers? Therefore, we couldn't utilize GPU for nonlinear layers, and still stick to the slow garbage records or GC for many nonlinear operations. For better performance, Delphi approximates some redo with squaring, which can be computed much faster. However, the first problem is that approximation harms accuracy. In C5100, the approximation reduces the accuracy by 2 percentage points. On the other hand, MaxPool, another popular choice of nonlinear layers, still needs to use the slow garbage circuit. A way to utilize GPU throughout the inference starts with an observation that comparison is an essential operation for nonlinear layers. The redo layers output the maximum between the input and zero, while the max pool layers output the maximum among the inputs within a small window. Furthermore, as long as we can securely compare two values, we can also evaluate the maximum based on comparison. Before we talk about how to use GPU for comparison, we will call a secure comparison protocol by Demcard Ether, or DGK protocol, which uses AXE for comparison. Let's say the server and the client have input alpha and beta respectively, and they want to get additive sugar shares indicating whether alpha is less than or equal to beta. In this protocol, each party first breaks down its inputs by bit by bit decomposition, and the client sends the homomorphically encrypted bits of beta to the server. Meanwhile, the server randomly draws delta s as its output and compute u from delta s. 
Once the server receives the encrypted bits from the client, it computes the encrypted BI from U and the encrypted bits of alpha and beta, with a multiplicative mask R. At a high level, this step is a bit of bit comparison between alpha and beta. Then, the server sends back the encrypted BI to the client. If the client finds any of the BI is zero, it sets the client's share to one, otherwise set it to zero. Secure comparison using DJK protocol is slow because it relies on AFG. Yet, we have another observation that secure online offline share computation is applicable to many AFG protocols, including DJK protocol. Our main idea is to decompose the nonlinear operations into many linear operations and apply SOS on them. We run the SOS offline AFG computation on the CPU and perform the SOS online computation on the GPU. Meanwhile, we patch many protocol instant to get the, to fully utilize GPU's patch processing power in online phase. We now apply XG to SOS to get a GPU-friendly version of DGK protocol. We first transform the core XG step of DGK into a linear function, parameterized by I, U, alpha, and R, which in turn calls a linear version of SOAR. To pre-compute the offline share, the server can know U and R because they are derived by randomness. However, the original DGK protocol assumes alpha is an online input. To tackle this issue, we shift our problem a little bit to compare two integers, x and y, rather than alpha and beta. In our new protocol, the shifter can know alpha offline, and the client will know beta online, which is derived from alpha and the online input x and y. It involves more algorithmic details, and we encourage you to read our paper to know more. With our GPU-friendly DJK protocol and multiplication over active Shika shares, we can construct a max function, from which we can build redo and max pool layers. Our experimental results show that our approach can speed up redo by 27 times and max pool by 34 times. The baseline is Gazelle, which uses an non approximate double shakers approach. Now, let's talk about another major issue in our previous inference, which is accuracy versus speed width. In crypto tools like AXG and active shaker shares, the operations are over set queue, or you may consider that cryptographically put data values are integers with limited bit width. The problem is that neural networks usually operate over floating points, which may need 255 bit width integers. If we use low bit width integers with double proper treatment, error will occur when converting the floating points to integers. If you use high bit width integers, it will lead to rest performance. In DJK protocol, the number of bit comparison steps goes linearly with the bit width. The problem gets worse when using GPU because GPU can only handle integers efficiently with limited bit width. Our solution is to quantize the neural network so that all values in linear layers, including inputs, weights, outputs, are low bit width integers. While neural network's accuracy is as good as using floating points. In GeForce, we are top swap for quantizing neural networks. Intuitively speaking, Swap can maintain high accuracy because it trains the neural network with quantized values, so the model parameters are optimized for low bit width integers. In a Swap trained neural network, it quantizes the inputs to linear layers and dequantizes outputs. Quantization needs to first find the maximum amount of all inputs, scale up or down the values according to the maximum, and then round them up to integers. Dequantization is scaling up or down the integers back to floating points. However, there's no free lunch. The first issue in integrating swap is to find the maximum amount of cryptographically protected values, which often encourage huge performance overhead. It's also expensive to represent the floating points after decondensation. Moreover, we need to find a proper way to perform scaling down and rounding. Our experiments show that if we scale down additive sugar shares by naively dividing them, the neural network will perform no better than a random guess. To solve these issues altogether, we have two ideas. Instead of finding the maximum amount of inputs online, we pre-compute it by feeding the training data into the model and extract the maximum. Our next ingredient is fusing the dequantization of a linear layer with the quantization of the next linear layer. We prove that if the nonlinear layers in between are redo or max pool, we can perform the dequantization and quantization together as a division, and the divisor can be pre-computed. Now, no floating point representation is needed. With these two ideas, 
We propose stochastic ground information layers, shorthand SRT layer. Since the device is always a power of 2, we call it truncation. We propose a protocol that can correct the error in naive division while performing stochastic grounding. Even better, this protocol is compatible with our HHE to SOS trick for higher performance. Putting everything together, GeForce has a set of phase where the server trains the neural network with stop and pre-compute the device for each SRT layer. For the obvious inference, the server and the client jointly perform offline computation over HGE. When the client has a query, it goes into online phase. The server and the client jointly run our GPU friendly protocols layer by layer. Now, let's talk about our security analysis. We assume the client and the server to be semi honest, which means they will stick to GFAST protocols, although they may want to know the protected secrets. The client learns the query results, while the server learns the rates and bias in the linear layers. Both of them will know the neural network's architecture and the divisor in SRT layers. Here's our experimental results and experimental setup. We achieved the shortest online latency in both C510 and C500, where the client can obtain the query results in less than 0.4 seconds. Moreover, we obtain the highest accuracy, 73%, in C510, which is at least 5 percentage points higher than the prior best. To sum up, GeForce utilizes GPU for the entire model to gain superior performance. It's possible to integrate GeForce with Delphi to support or BDFS inference for more complicated neural networks and datasets. Also, our work is applicable to our BDFS inference using other machine learning techniques, say, decision tree inference. If you're interested, you may also check out our code on GitHub. Our team also have another GPU-friendly secure solution for neural network training. If you have any questions, Please feel free to email us. Thank you.